Hey guys, it's Betafish2002 and I'm finally back and today I'm going to be doing my Q&A video finally after such a long time and I can't wait to get started. So I'm just going to be reading the questions off my iPad and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So before I start the questions, I want to thank everybody who actually left a question uh, because without those questions I wouldn't be able to even have a Q&A. So thank you so much for that. And yeah, after the q and I'll be doing up a quick update on the guppy tank. And yeah, all right, let's start. So I'm just gonna be reading off all of the questions here. And after I read off all the questions, I'll probably be doing an update on the guppy tank or something. But as you can see all as well, I've actually sold a lot of the guppies, I've donated a lot of the guppies. So yeah, and all the people who left questions, I'm giving shout outs to them. And as you can see, or you will, as you will see, all of their names will be on the screen. So now let's get started. So the first question is from Jack Smith, and his question is, which of your fish is your favorite, if I do have one? His is Luster. Probably Luster, actually. <laughs> I do like Luster a lot. I do like Zeus a lot, too. And if you're wondering how my betas are doing, they're all doing great right now. So yeah, Luster is my favorite. I also do have a favorite guppy. My favorite guppy is this orange female right here. She is also pregnant right now, so I can't wait to see what her babies look like because she's so pretty. Anyways, back to the video now. So another question from Jack Smith is, how often do you clean your beta tanks? Well, I do water changes on my beta tanks every four days or five days, and I siphon the tank every week. So for instance, if I clean so for instance if today is sunday and i'll probably because i actually clean the tank today i'll probably clean the tank next or do a water change next on wednesday and then on sunday i'll actually siphon the tank and i'll do that cycle over and over again so thanks for asking that so my next question is again from jack smith and thank you for asking all of these questions um so his next question is what do you do when you go on a holiday, feeding-wise? So what I do when I go on a holiday is I use feeding blocks, as you can see here. This is a Nutrifin Basics feeding block right here, and I haven't used this up yet. Um, and then here are smaller ones over here. As you can see, the block will dissolve over time and the food will be released over time. So I use feeding blocks generally if Nobody can take care of them, but generally with my betas, I do have somebody to take care of them. But with the guppies, I just do leave a feeding block in there because they're not too picky about what they eat. So, yeah. So those feeding blocks were just for tropical fish. There are specific ones for, like, betas. Like, whoops. Like, this one right here. This one right here. As you can see, I still have some of these left. And I still do use them, so they're very useful just in case. All right, so I have one last question from Jack Smith. I might make two parts for this video because this might take a while. So who was your very first beta? Well, my first beta was a blue veal tail and his name was Maverick. And I did, I have to admit, I did keep him in a half gallon plastic little tank. I do regret that, but I did get him a heater later on in his life and he did live for a good two years. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm pretty sure he lived a good life because he didn't have cold water. Although I did leave him in a pretty small space. But yeah, he was my first beta and I really liked him. So thank you, Jack Smith, for all of those questions. I'll be moving on to a bunch of questions by Lynn's Defense. And thank you so much for all those questions. I can't wait to answer them all. So the first question is, do you have any special backstory with a pet? And is there any special reason you got it? Well. I don't know. Generally when I go to get a beta or something, I usually look for the sick fish. I don't know why, but that's generally the way I go because I always want to heal fish, no matter what they look like. So if I do have any space, I'll definitely go look out for any sick looking fish or ones that are not near death, but ones that were probably, if I leave them in the pet store much longer, they will die because I really want to help them and stuff like that but every now and then I do get healthy bettas so every time I make a video usually or anytime I make a video on getting a new betta it's usually when 
they've been treated and all that stuff. Like for instance, Clifford was a really sick beta when I got him at the store, but obviously he was much better in just a few days. So yeah, thank you for that question. So the next question is, who's your favorite pet? Or what's my favorite pet? Um, no offense to any of my fish, but it's definitely my puppy, Skittles. Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then the next question is, what's your dream pet? You know, I don't really have a dream pet, but if I, if I were to get another pet, it'd probably be a hamster or maybe another dog. Because I do find hamsters to be pretty interesting. So the next question by Lens Defends is, what is your favorite color and favorite food? My favorite color is definitely blue, and my favorite food is... Hmm. I love burgers, like, a lot. I mean, I really like burgers. I mean, if I were to eat one thing for the rest of my life, it would probably be a burger. Not only because it's tasty, but it's because it has all this stuff in it, like lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, you know, meat. Bread has all the stuff in it, and yeah. The next question is, what, do you have a favorite word? To be honest with you, I don't have a favorite word, but if I would have a favorite, if I did have a favorite word, I'd tell you what it is. You know, m maybe if I do have a favorite word, I'll tell you, but as of now, I don't have a favorite word. The next question is, do you have a dream beta fish? Describe what it looks like and its personality. Well, my dream beta fish, or my favorite, or what my dream beta fish would look like, is it would be a half moon placot beta or placket beta, and I would want it to be literally gold, like pure gold, nothing else but pure gold. So I'd want it to be half moon placot and pure gold. So that's what I would want as my dream beta fish. So the next question and the last question is what would be your dream tank? Or last question from Lens of Fins, and it would be, what is your dream tank? What it looks like, how many gallons, and what fish is in it? Well, my dream tank, I know it's never going to happen, would be like a 15,000 gallon tank with like a shark or a bunch of sharks in it. Like, not like a great white shark, but maybe, I don't know, like a hammerhead shark or something like that. It would be super cool. And... You know, something like, something along those lines that would be awesome and just a bunch of fish in it. Maybe a bunch of schooling fish. Um, a bunch of fish that the shark wouldn't eat. And then maybe some humongous fish, I don't even know what they're called, but just humongous fish plus sharks and I need the sharks. But if I were to have a realistic tank, it would probably be a, like a 50 gallon tank maybe with... First of all, I love guppies, so maybe guppies. No, actually, never mind. No, I wouldn't get that, actually. I'll get a saltwater tank with clownfish, a blue tang, a puffer fish, one of those fish from Nemo, whatever those are called. And I want one of those bubbly fish. And I want one of those shrimp like in Nemo. Like, Nemo was like my inspiration for fish keeping. So I'm getting a little bit off topic by talking about Nemo, but if I were to get a dream tank realistically, it would be that, but unrealistically it would be that humongous tank with sharks in it. So thank you so much for asking all those questions, Lens to Fins, and please go subscribe to her. Her channel is awesome, so if you'd go ahead and help me with that, please go ahead and subscribe to her. We've officially hit nine minutes in this video. I don't know if I'm going to make a part two or whether I should just finish the whole video. So let's see what happens. So the next question is from Aquatic Pets and they ask, do you have, do you plan on any more pets in the future? If yes, then what? I don't plan on getting any more pets because to be honest, my dad thinks I have too many pets. So yeah. I don't think I'll be getting any more pets, but thanks for asking. The next two questions are from Hooked on Fish, and they asked, how do you, how did you get into the fish hobby? Well, as I said before, I watched Nemo, and I got a bit of fish. So, first of all, I watched Nemo, and I love Nemo, so I wanted to get a fish. And that led me into getting my first bit of Maverick, and after I kept him, I wanted some more betas, and then I got this tank over here that I'm pointing at right here. I got this tank. And ever since then, 
I've been loving fish to death and yeah, I just love them. And then over there is um, Luster's Tank. Anyways, so yeah, thanks for asking that. So the next question is, are you planning on breeding betta fish? Well, I don't think so. I think it'll be a little too hard because I don't have another 10 gallon tank or something like that. But if I did have the chance, I definitely would because, you know, breeding bettas is definitely a beautiful thing and it's, it's really cool too. So I would, but I can't. So thanks for asking that. Please go ahead and subscribe to Hooked on Fish. The channel is really awesome and I love watching their videos. So yeah, let's move on to the next question. So the next question is from Oswald Online. And if you'd go subscribe to her, her channel is awesome. And her name's Nikki, I think. And she has an awesome channel and she, she's really nice too. So if you go subscribe to her, that would be awesome. So her first question was, if you were to get another beta right now, what kind would you get? Right now, I would probably get just a plain veal tail or maybe a crown tail because I want to go very simple right now. I don't have any veal tails right now, so I think maybe to go simple would be nice. So yeah. The next question is, what do you look for in a beta fish? So as I told you before, I usually get sick fish, but for tips uh, for anybody, I would say Get a beta that has nice coloration, get a beta that's very lively, that wriggles around when he sees you or she sees you, and if he has bright colors and he doesn't have nip fins, doesn't have white dots all over him, doesn't seem lethargic whatsoever, I would go ahead and get him because he's probably healthy in that case. If he doesn't have any like torn fins or maybe you know some weird looking coating on him, because in that case, he'd probably have a disease. But obviously for me, I'd probably get it anyways. But for beginners in the in the fish keeping hobby, I would suggest that you get um, a fish that maybe has bright colors and all that stuff that I just described. So thank you so much for asking that. And I don't think I'll get to actually doing an updates video because this video is already like 12 or 13 minutes long, I think. So. I'll go ahead and finish answering all of the questions and yeah, hopefully I'll get to, um, you know, do some other stuff. I've been getting a lot of requests for another car trick video, so I'll try and get to that too. So yeah. So the next question is from Bubble Buddies and they asked, when did you start your YouTube channel? So I started my YouTube channel on October 31st. I know it's weird that I remember that, but it was a beginner care video on beta fish and I think I'm going to be making an updated video on that because the video wasn't very good and I'll probably make be making another video on that plus maybe another video on Skittles because I think you guys want to see him again. All right, so we're officially on the last question of the Q&A. If you managed to get through this whole process right here, I hope I answered everything. I don't think I missed anything, but if I did miss anything, please go ahead and tell me in the comments. I'll definitely answer you back. So the last question is from Matthew Nicolaitis. Hopefully I pronounced that right. But he says, who is your favorite beta in terms of color personality and the funniest? I think it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Kingston um, because he is a really shy beta. He used to be a really aggressive beta, but now he's really shy and he, he, he jumps a lot, and he's really funny. Sometimes we'll just swim around crazy in the tank when there's, like, I have no, I have no idea why he does that. But he's hilarious, um, and I also do like his colors, or I did like his colors because, unfortunately, he did pass away. But, yeah, that was my favorite beta personality-wise before. But as of now, it's probably Zeus. Because he is the exact same way. He's pretty crazy too. And he's a huge beta. So, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully I did answer all of your questions. Again, if I didn't, please tell me down below. And I'm really sorry if I didn't. I'm pretty sure I got to all of them. But again, remind me if I didn't. Because I will definitely answer your question back. And if, if you guys have any more questions, just put them down below. I'll definitely answer back too. 
And yeah, I won't be getting to the update video today, but I'll definitely do that next, hopefully. And yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe for more pet videos. Bye!